Good morning, everybody. It is a beautiful sunny day, and um, I hope that all of you guys liked seeing the pictures of the bird's nest that my mom sent to me that her friend took pictures of because they were right outside the door. Um, I'm super excited to see if those little eggs start hatching soon. So I wanted to tell you a story when um, Amelia, who is now 15, was in preschool just like you guys. She came home one day with a craft and I liked it so much that I've kept it all these years and it might be the reason why I decided I wanted to become a preschool teacher because I thought if you could do this kind of stuff every day, wouldn't that be fun? So this is one of my very favorite treasures. It's a little spaghetti bird's nest that she made with two little tinfoil eggs. This is a 12 year old craft that I will keep for a very long time. Um, so I thought we should try and make one ourselves. So what you're gonna need to do this is spaghetti, which, and this is actually a great thing to do to get those muscles working. You're gonna break into lots and lots of little teeny tiny pieces. Okay, you're gonna need quite a few because the spaghetti, they're supposed to be the sticks that the birds use to make their nests. These birds are very clever and they use all kinds of things that they find. Okay, so I already actually broke up a lot of spaghetti so we could get started. Birds even use things like string that they find. So I had a little bit of yarn that I was going to cut into some little pieces as well. Um, all different kinds of things. And I thought just to add some texture, I'd even maybe throw in a little bit of rice in there. So what we're going to do is you're going to need to get a little bowl because that's going to be the mold for your nest. And you're going to need some wax paper, which I didn't have. I'm thinking that parchment paper would work, maybe even tinfoil, but I have one of these kind of waxy bags that I cut. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little piece of tape on the, in the bottom of my bowl. So I'm going to loop it back on itself so it sticks to the bowl. And so I can stick my paper and it won't move around. wax paper or your bag, whatever you have basically to act as a mold that once your um, spaghetti and the glue and everything that binds it together is dry, you're going to unpeel this. Okay, so I put mine in like that. Then what I did is I mixed some glue, to, some paint together to make this brown color because most nests are brown, right? Sticks are brown. Do you remember we were talking about how you make brown? You mix all the colors together, which is always kind of a surprise because you would think if you mix all the colors, you get some beautiful rainbow, but you don't, you get brown, which is gonna come in handy for us today. So you also need some glue, okay? So hopefully you guys have paint and glue. Otherwise, I'm gonna give you another way to make a nest later. Let's try this. What you're gonna do is you're gonna put quite a bit of glue into the bottom of your bowl, okay? Because that's what's gonna stick all the spaghetti together. So I'm putting quite a bit in there. Little pool of glue, and then I'm gonna add my paint to make it brown. And I'm gonna mix that together with my little popsicle stick. It's kind of like a big mess, okay? And then, might have put in a little bit much, we'll see. What you're gonna do is you're gonna add your spaghetti, okay? Pop it in like this. And then you're gonna get, I used a plastic fork, but you could even get a real fork and just wash it well after. You're gonna mix it all together so that the paint and the glue get mixed into your spaghetti. Okay, and then again, I think I'm gonna add a teeny tiny bit of rice. When it's all nice and mixed together, you're going to use your fork. What you're going to do is you're going to press the gluey spaghetti into the sides of the bowl. So try and make them even go up the sides. And then we're going to have to be patient. We're going to have to wait for a couple of days it says it takes a while for this to dry. Okay, so you can keep checking on it, but 
try not to rush. It's gonna take a couple of days for the glue and the paint and the spaghetti to all dry. And once it's dry, you can peel off the wax paper. So when this dries, I'll take another video and show you what we do next, okay? Just like, can you see that? Like that. And I'm pushing it again against the sides of my bowl. And then I'm gonna leave it, okay? And you obviously need some spaghetti on the bottom too. All right, so let's, I'm gonna leave my fork in there to try and mold it. Um, now, if you don't have glue and you don't have paint, then don't panic because there are other ways to make nests too. Another thought that I had this morning was I found a brown coffee filter. Again, if you have white, you have white, it's fine. But I bet most of you guys have something like this. Really anything that looks kind of like a little bowl could be your nest. So what I thought I would do with this is, again, I could glue things in or I could even just put them in there. So I'm gonna pretend that my bird used some popsicle sticks. I'm gonna pretend these are big sticks. And then I'm gonna say that my bird maybe used some spaghetti in there to make his nest. And some bits of string. And I was looking at one of my ferns today and some of its leaves didn't look that happy. So I cut them off and I might put some leaves in there. And some little tiny stems. Just like this. You can go outside. It's such a pretty day. Hopefully it'll be pretty tomorrow too when you're reading this. You can go outside and gather all kinds of things to put in your coffee filter nest. I really like the string in there because it makes it a pretty color. And this is good practice for cutting too, right? When you guys are home doing things. Okay, so let's see if I can show you. Here's the inside of the bird's nest. Okay, I'm gonna keep, keep going. Now, you're probably also gonna need a bird to go in there, right? And maybe even some eggs. So, to make the eggs, I'm gonna do what Amelia's teacher did all those years ago, and I'm gonna get some tin foil. I'm gonna make these eggs a little bigger because this nest is bigger. I'm gonna use my fingers to form the shape of a ball. Do you remember we made tin foil balls, moon rocks, a little while ago for our space week? Here we go. I'm gonna put a couple of little eggs in the nest, and then I'm gonna make the mama bird. Now birds, when you make birds, I think it's a great way to remind yourself about all the shapes that we've been talking about all year, which I know you guys know. So here are my two little eggs in my nest, okay, that the mama bird's gonna sit on and keep warm. So earlier this morning, I went into my drawer and I, whenever I cut out shapes of paper, I save the paper so that I can use it later because it always comes in handy. So I had a nice piece of blue paper and actually Elsa just came downstairs and said that in her art class they are making birds as well. So she's going to make a blue jay collage. So she got all kinds of different pretty papers and we'll have to take a picture to show you how that comes out. I made a circle because my bird's going to be a chubby blue bird, I think. And then we're going to need a beak. What shape do you think a beak should be? Right, remember, this is Fiona's fun fact of Monday was that birds don't have teeth. So they need to use their beaks to eat their food, which means that the beaks are pretty sharp. So they're gonna have to have a point. Okay. Go straight across. What's that to? Exactly, a triangle. So I'm gonna get my glue and I'm gonna give my Mama bird, a beak. I can get my glue to work. I might need my glue stick instead. Let's see. I use my popsicle stick. Okay. So I'm gonna give my bird a beak. Chicken. Beak. 
all the yummy things she likes to eat. Luckily, worms are soft, right? Because birds like to eat worms. Okay. Here's your beak. And now I have these circle stickers that I thought would be perfect for her eyes. One, two eyes. And then I'm going to take my black marker and give her a couple of eyeballs. Right. How's she looking so far? And then I thought she probably needs some wings, right? So there's lots of different ways I was thinking you could do wings for the bird. You could even take some glue, wings and feathers, and you could put a little bit of grass or some leaves that you find outside and pretend those are her feathers, right? Or you could get some string. You could make the feathers any way you want to. What I was thinking I would do is I'm going to cut this shape out with a yellow paper. It's the shape square, you're right. And do you remember what happens when we cut a diagonal line through the middle of a square? What does it turn into? Triangles, you got it. So I'm going to give my bird two yellow triangle wings. I'm going to glue them on. But again, these are your birds, so you do them any way you want. Give her another wing. Okay. And then I might put a little bit of glue on top of her and sprinkle on some feathers. Hi. Elsa, we're making birds at school today and I told everybody that you just came downstairs because you were in art class and you had to make a blue jay. How do you do that? Will you show us your blue jay when you're done, please? Yeah. Yeah? Can you come say hi to everybody? Sure. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so, here's my bird. I am giving green feathers too, and some triangle wings and a beak. She looks a little crazy, but that's okay. And now I'm gonna put her in her nest. And I will take a picture so that you can see it a little bit better as I leave her to dry. Okay, so you guys have fun making your birds today, and we would love, as always, to see pictures of what you come up with. All right, see you later. Bye.